In this project, I will show you how to wirelessly send scrolling text to P10 LED display using ESP module, MQTT, and smartphone. It is an Internet of Things project, a display connected to a Wi-Fi network using ESP module and data communication between this LED display and a smartphone using the MQTT protocol. The printed circuit board I designed combines the ESP module and the P10 LED display, allowing you to control this display over Wi-Fi. Let's make it. This project is sponsored by PCB Way. I designed a printed circuit board for this project and ordered it from PCB Way. Why not a breadboard circuit? Because breadboard circuits are ideal for testing and running small-scale designs. They are not durable for long-term use. Printed circuit boards are used to design electronic circuits more durable and stable for long-term use. If you want to have this PCD, you can find the file link in the descriptions. Some surface mount device ESMD components are preferred in this board. This affects the size and cost of the board design. For the assembly of SMD components, a stencil is generally preferred. Solder stencils help to accurately apply solder paste in position of components and the stencil is usually ordered with the piece B. This process is simple. First fix the printed circuit board and place the stencil to match the board. Then put some solder paste on the stencil with the help of a spoon and spread it with a spatula. After applying the solder paste, it is necessary to place the required components on the piece B. Where to place these components is usually indicated by a designator or footprint reference. These references are used as part of the PC design and ensure the correct placement of components. The designator shows what a component is and where it is located. For example, a resistor's designator starts with a number such as R1, R2, which indicates the resistor's position on the PC. A footprint specifies the physical dimensions of a component and the locations of its ports. After the components are placed on the solder pads with the help of solder paste, the soldering process begins. Soldering is usually done with a hot plate machine or a hand soldering iron. The soldering machine heats and melts the solder paste and fixes the components in place. After the soldering is complete, the components are completely fixed in place when the solder paste has cooled. After soldering a few more components, the board will be complete. These components are a few headers and a screw terminal block. It can be easily soldered with a soldering iron. Now it's programming time, grab a cup of coffee. The MQT protocol is a messaging method that facilitates data communication. In this method, data is shared between devices through a server called Broker. Broker is an intermediate server that will provide data communication between your smartphone and the ESP device. You can use an MQT broker like Mosquito or Hive MQ. Devices are connected to the broker by naming a topic and send and receive data over this topic. Although this method of communication sounds complicated, we will use a library shared by Ronin that makes it easy. Download library from shared link and open source code with Arduino IDE. It is enough to enter the network connection information and MQT parameters in the code. If you are going to program an ESP for the first time, install the ESP from Board Manager and go to Settings and add the shared URL for the ESP. Finally, you need to install the client library used in the code. If the code is ready, let's move on to the installation part. A USB converter is required to program the ESP modules. USB to TTL converters are used to connect to the ESP, program it, and operate the device using serial communication. Connect the board to the converter and connect it to the computer. The important point here is that it should be fed with 3.3 volt. A one-time process must be taken when using the ESP for the first time. Press the reset and flash buttons at the same time. Then release the reset button first, then the flash button. This will make the ESP ready for code. After this process, you can upload the code by selecting the port. P10 
LED displays are generally used to design outdoor or indoor LED display panels. The P10 screen size is 32 by 16, which means there are 32 LEDs in each row and 16 LEDs in each column. That is, each panel unit has a total of 512 LEDs. There are three ports on the back of the P10 screen. One of the ports is the pin inputs for the microcontroller, the power inputs in the middle, and finally, the port used to connect more panels together. Each panel needs 5 volts. Also, 5 volts is required for the ESP controller. I created a common line for both. Meanwhile, each panel needs about 3 amps. Then connect the common ground line. When the screen is powered on, the welcome message specified in the source code will be displayed first. Now let's take a look at how to print text wirelessly via MQTT. There are several MQT tools for this. I will control it via an Android-based smartphone. It will be enough to install the application on the phone and enter the necessary parameters and run it. There are two important points here. The first is to depend on the network parameters specified in the code, and the second is to enter the topic parameter specified in the code. Now you can print the scrolling text on the P10 screen by entering the desired message. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button for more content. Thanks for watching.